It's Friday, and that means it's another Friday Sews where I get to share with you my sewing update. Things I've been working on this week, what I have planned coming up, and then as kind of like a bonus today, I'm going to share some of the happy mail that I've recently received. Um, Jen over at Today in Jen's Sewing Room is the creator of Friday Sews. So as always, big thank you to her. And you can find the link to her channel along with anything else that I mentioned in this video down in that description box. I'm Madi with Madi Sews and let's just kind of jump right on into what I've been working this week which is this the Allison tent dress. So I am not done with this. Let me push you all back a little bit so you can see. So yeah, this is the Alice in 10 dress. It's still not completed. I did do the pin tucks, but you all, I'll, I'll have to admit, I was Zoom sewing with the ladies and I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. So I didn't actually tack down my pin tucks properly. Um, not only that, but I did a really sloppy job pressing all of them down. So I need to go back in and fix the pin tucks, which really isn't isn't that big of an issue. I have to put on the sleeves, of course, and it needs the ruffle at the bottom, and then it's gonna be ready to go. Now, I'll admit, this rayon linen is a little lighter than I would have liked it to have been, but that's okay. I mean, if I had well, if I had more patience, I'd actually go back in and um, redo the facing piece here. It's self-lined with the same color. In hindsight, I should have probably used something that was a little more flesh toned because of how thin this fabric is. But this is going to be my summer Bermuda dress. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really not too worried about it. And it's a good thing that I'm not because, well... I don't have the patience or the time. <laughs> Not right now. And then the other thing that I've been working on, and you all, this is a thing that like has really been so time consuming, but it's really been my project of love. So you all know that I've been making these pin cushions. Yeah, I've been making leather pin cushions like this, and they all have the pre-punched holes for the pins on the top. Well, so many people liked these and had expressed interest in trying their hand at making some small leather projects like this that I actually went and created a couple of kits for everyone. So today on the Inspired Leather Co. website, you can pick up your own kits. But before we get into this, first a word from our sponsor. Are you looking for a cure to your boredom? Yeah. Maybe you want to learn a new hobby without investing in all of the expensive tools. Yes! Or do you want to show your friends all the amazing things that you can make out of leather and get your bragging rights on? Yeah! Absolutely! Well, let me help you with that spark of creativity so that you can make your own amazing leather pin cushions. You could do either the Voodoo Doll or the Pac-Man Ghost in any color that you want, or all of the colors. It's up to you. Get them while they're hot at Inspired Leather. So the Pac-Man Ghost kits come in four different colors. You can see there's pink and blue and orange and red and all of these are hand dyed um so like the color variations like well the colors may actually just kind of vary a little bit um but that i mean that's the nature of dyeing leather all of the pieces are pre-punched so you don't have to worry about picking up any special tools and really kind of investing in in a whole new hobby that you're not sure you're going to stick with i mean we all do a whole lot of sewing right <laughs> We do. I know you do. And then there's also the thread, the needles, the fluff, and video tutorials. Actually, I'm going to link one right up here. So if you click that link, it'll queue it up to play after this video. It's the Voodoo Doll Pincushion Kit Tutorial. 
on my Inspired Leather channel that I just started. So if you do pop on over there, don't forget to follow me. So that way, you know, just subscribe and follow me. I could, I've got no, I've got no followers. <laughs> Don't make me beg, but it'll, I'll, I'd be happy if you did follow me on over there. This is the Voodoo Doll Pin Cushion um, Kit. And you can see that this one is pre-punched. You get all of the good stuff there too. So those are available in the shop now. In the description box, you can catch the links to these. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you all. I now offer international shipping. So those of you who are in the UK, Canada, or the US can all try your hands at sewing up your own leather pin cushions. It's really fun, trust me. <laughs> now let's talk about what I actually have to make coming up. So my family's going to Bermuda in a couple of weeks. Actually, on the 19th, we're going to be heading over to Bermuda. And my mother's coming with us, which is really kind of exciting because it's her first time going abroad. And even though this isn't that far, it's still like a nice little taste for her. Since she's going to be here, I need to finish the project that she asked me to make for her, which is her dog carrying tote bag thing. <laughs> so a couple weeks back, she had sent me this in the mail and asked me if I could make one similar to this. She does have a couple of um, tweaks that she wants made. So, of course, I said, yes, Mom, I'll make this for you. I think she was really thinking I wasn't going to make it for her because it was for her dog, and she always asks me to make clothing for her dog, and that's where I draw the line. <laughs> but the bag? Yeah, the bag I'm excited about. So... I actually went back to her and I had asked her what her preferences were because, well, this bag is a soft kind of fabric bag, right? And I could use a softer leather if that's the look that she wanted for, but I had a feeling that she might have wanted a bit of a more structured bag that stands up on its own. And that that is the case actually that is what she wants so I decided to use a couple of different leathers that are in my stash and and by the way I did run these colors past her because she's not a real big like color person but she's okay with this and I think it's primarily because her you all look at these pictures of her dog I mean it's just the most cutesy little princessy thing ever. And even if my mom doesn't carry little princessy looking things around for her, I know that she will for her dog. So I have this. Um, this is a this is a cowhide actually, but it has this really pretty crocodile print in pink on it. So I'm going to use this for the upper, and then I was thinking about using this metallic purple for the bottom. I really do like the way these two look together. I think they look beautiful. And then for the lining, I'm going to use some um, black and white outdoor fabric that I use that, you know, can wipe up a little easier. I, I think it'll be kind of a fun contrast too on the inside with these two on the outside. So this is going to be my very next project and it's going to it's going to be kind of time consuming because I have to figure out some patterns. Um so that'll be fun to work on. And you know, while she's here, I'll see if I can kind of like drag her into another video. She's really kind of shy when it comes to that stuff and at a point just kind of put her foot down and said, "No more videos." But it's, it's been a while now, so I might be able to convince her to do one again. Maybe even just like a shorter reel. But I'll definitely share pictures while we're all together and on vacation on my at Madi Sews for Curves um, Instagram handle. That's right down there. Oh my goodness. So you all, I got a package in the mail and look what was in it. <laughs> So if this looks familiar, it's because Trish from Pinky's Farm had actually made a pair of boxer shorts out of this exact fabric and asked me if I wanted the leftover. And it's actually quite a bit. And I 
immediately said, yes. <laughs> My son is at the age where like Legos are life. And th that might last for the next 20 years. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. But I was thinking I could definitely make him a cute shirt out of that fabric. So that was, that was a nice little treat to get in the mail. And then she had also sent me, and I forgot to share this with you all, some fun zipper tape and zipper pulls. So this is the zipper tape that she had sent over. This is a rose gold one, and it's a silver one. They're nylon. But let me show you these pulls because these zipper pulls are everything. Now, she did send me one that had Grogu on it, he got used immediately so he's on <laughs> he's on my VR headset <laughs> and I used to meditate I mean how how appropriate right it's Grogu on my meditation device <laughs> but check this one out so that's a really fun flower on the zipper pool I'm trying to pick out some of the really special ones here Oh, she sent me these really pretty, like, oil slick looking zipper pulls. And then, you all, look at this one. Hang on. Look at that. It's a sewing machine. How cool is that? Oh man, this is just so special. I kind of just want to hang it on my wall, but another part of me just really wants to use it. By the way, wouldn't one of these really look amazing on my mom's dog bag? Well, I'm, I can't wait to use these. I think they're just the cutest things ever. And I'm so, I'm so appreciative that she sent those over. While we're on the zipper discussion, a couple of videos back, I was sharing with you that Adam from Adam Sews sent me a zipper pouch. This one. And it, it's it been the most useful thing ever. I keep my um, leather making stuff in it, the smaller tools and things, so that way I can just kind of grab it and punch holes wherever I am, which oftentimes is picnic table at the office. But I really loved the zipper on this and I asked you all if you knew where I could get a zipper like that and holy guacamole Tamara came through and recommended So Hungry Hippie and this is the brand right there So Hungry Hippie you all she has some really fantastic zipper tape and zipper pulls so okay of course I had to get the striped one, but this one has gold in it, like a gold zipper. It's all nylon. But check it out with the nylon gold in the middle. Oh my gosh, you all, it's just love. She also had a silver one, and I really kind of like wiffle waffled. Is that the term? <laughs> I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted the gold one with the gold pools or the silver one but I don't know the gold just kind of felt so much more special to me and oh man I can't wait to make stuff with it now what's really cool about this one is that the back also has stripes this is some really beautiful zipper tape and then I also picked up this one right here this one reminds me of a really fun kind of like space dye fabric it's like the same coloring, but it this is printed on because it's white on the back. Um, but it is nylon as well. You all, it's, I mean, it's three meters. It's quite a bit of fabric. I mean, it's quite a bit of zipper tape. And this one came with some really beautiful pools, actually. Let me show you the pools because they're fun. You see that zipper pull? That is really cute with the stripes from this. <sighs> she also had some animal print ones. Like it was like, I think it was leopard or cheetah. 
you all, uh, my Puerto Rican little heart went pitter patter so fast, and I didn't know. Just, you are, I just, I didn't need that much zipper tape, but I really wanted it. In the end, I decided just to get these two. I mean, if there is a project um, that I want the animal print for, hopefully by the time I get to it, it'll still be there. But I am in love with the zipper tapes and the zipper pulls. And come on, how cute would even one of these iridescent zipper pulls that um Trish sent me look on this one. Oh man I mean the options you are the options I am so stoked right over here is that voodoo doll tutorial that I mentioned earlier that you can click on and head on right on over to check out what this kit looks like and what the video is to see if it's something that you would like to do and you all until next time, I really do hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.